superiority in your boxing there. Then I, I imagine a fairly frustrating moment in seeing the injury. Yet your opponent wanted to continue. Did you want him to continue in that moment? Yeah, sure. He felt, he felt like, he felt the injury after I landed like a thousand right hands, right? So I caused that. It was not like, he didn't, that to, he didn't do that to himself. I did it. So I, I, I have my pride on it. Good man, important that you do. Um, tell me about the game plan going into this, because it looked like it was all hands. Uh, it was pretty much what I did. Uh, maybe I had to kick a little bit more, but he was so so anxious to, to find my face. I trained so much to get out of his way and land my shots, and I just did it, you know? Uh, everything worked fine. And finally, tell me about your experience here at Karate Combat today, because this is quite a different atmosphere, isn't it? Man, this is crazy! What the fuck? You guys are so close to me! Wow! I never fought like that. This is crazy. It's like I'm in the gym. Like I'm in the gym. And I feel so energetic! Yes! Congratulations, a massive win, Antonio Arroyo. This is not a video game. This is real life. This is karate combat. Let's go back to root principles of what this is. Two human beings weaponizing their bodies to destroy the bodies of another. When you block something, it isn't free. You're getting smashed in the arms. When you use your own weapons, it's not free to hit him. You are bludgeoning your body against his. These are car accidents when you have men of this size. Both men came out here, performed courageously. That is a clean win for Antonio, and we hope that Cody will come back better than ever. Yes, thank you, Robin, for that breakdown. As you said, heavyweights weaponizing their bodies indeed is quite a, a frightening oh, thought. And, uh, and guys, what do we think about uh, Antonio Arroyo there? Really, really nice performance. Yeah, he looks like an animal. Uh, when he said I should have kicked more, that one kick that he threw already showed me that he can kick. <laughs> so that combining with his hands, that could be very dangerous for any opponent. Uh, Arroyo really impressed me by his performance, but you know, Cody impressed me as well. He had Good those crazy kicks, set, like spinning kick setup that you would never expect from a guy of his physique. That, yeah. that, that, that would be very dangerous. I'm very excited and anxious to see him uh, fight again. Absolutely, it'd be uh, definitely welcome back once he heals that injury. Some of the replays from this round, guys, talk to me about not just, uh, you know, the, the kicks and the overall game of Arroyo, but his hands look so good. That was it. I think that was the decisive effect. That's why right from the beginning I said he should stop boxing, you know, because his hands, he was landing everything. And I thought the, 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 the movement from uh, 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 Cherubek was so weird, but now we know why it was weird, because it was his foot he couldn't simply stand. Yeah, I can think of a few heavyweights in the karate combat rankings who uh, should definitely be taking a look at this one as the next potential opponent for them. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.